anymore, anymore like us. We listen to their heart. We hear our heart a bit. They are one of the most powerful systems of family where we humans could learn from. Because in like Buddhism and in reincarnation terms, the elephant is you know the animal that you'll be before you become a human. Mm -hmm. So they're particularly significant. So it's really important for us to give them a really, really good life. My name is Rachel Dunn and I'm a director. I've worked for years on communicating different messages for people through video. My focus then became about giving a voice to those who have always felt voiceless. One day, something happened though that I could not explain. It sounds crazy when I say it out loud and I kind of don't want to, but I will. Out of the blue, I had this unshakable feeling that an elephant somewhere was trying to tell me something. I followed my instincts and I set out on a journey to find that elephant. And I found out I wasn't so crazy after all. I believe it's absolutely possible that animals, and elephants especially, communicate telepathically. We all have the capacity to feel and hear and sense things beyond this physical form. You're not going to hear it if you're all emotional, you're all over the place. You really need to really become into stillness. And let everything, all your mind, turn into really small like an atom and then turn to a nucleus and then send this nucleus to the air, become energy and then become material. Everything is consciousness and elephants have been here before us humans have been. They have a wisdom, they have an intelligence that transcends our verbal language as humans. So when you wake up in a day and say, I have this crazy idea to give a voice to the elephants, are they calling to me? I actually believe it is possible because it's in the field and you have the receptors open in your consciousness to listen to their voice. I want to tell you so much about what the elephants had to say. Because in the end, it affects us all.